This is Phil Donahue. And you're listening to WBAI New York. 99.5. WBAI is a commercial free listener sponsored radio station. We've been on the air for 56 years. Malachi McCourt here uh, on Talk Mac with uh, Corey Kilgan and uh, with uh, John McDonough. We have more people in prison than any other country, over two, two and a half million people. 25% of people convicted are wrongfully convicted. And that means then that um, there are thousands and thousands of people in prison for crimes they were not guilty of committing. CBS is not really that different from NBC, which is not really that different from ABC. What you're going to hear today at WBAI is different. Pacifica Radio, WBAI at 99.5 FM and WBAI.org on the web. WBAI has relocated to Brooklyn and it's always been a, uh, a Manhattan-bound entity. But here we are on Atlantic Avenue. We were displaced by Hurricane Sandy. We were at 120 Wall Street. 120 Wall Street is right on the East River. It's the last building on the East River on Wall Street. And the storm surge came and uh, the water inundated the uh, cellar below, uh, compromised all the equipment. So we had to leave there. And now we're here at 388 Atlantic Avenue. We had lost a lot of our staff after Hurricane Sandy. We went from probably a staff of 30-some uh, people down to less than 10 people. I mean, that's very extreme. We have a, a core staff of volunteers that help with the uh, premium fulfillment. Uh, the premiums are our thank you gifts that we send out to people during our, me our membership drives. The rest of the staff are volunteer producers. and. Um, that's about oh, 180 to 200, it varies. We do it gratis. We do not get paid. We have to pay our own way here and uh, spend the time here without any compensation. But it's because I guess we love to hear ourselves talking. I think we do. Managing this station is the probably hardest job in the world. My job was to come in and establish some structure and control so that I can um, get people to follow, you know, fo you know like to, to, you know, follow a business model. And uh, what am I doing this to? I'm, I'm doing this to a bunch of people whose mo model is they are against the status quo, they are against any form of structure, they are anarchists. So I'm in charge of a bunch of anarchists who do not want to be anyone to be in charge of them. I don't know what it is about Brooklyn that makes, uh, there are some words in the English language that make people smile, like baby, uh, Brooklyn, Irish, and the one that really makes people smile is prunes. We moved to Brooklyn in uh, May of last year, 2015. And I feel that this is a great opportunity to like really blow up. My name is Jay Smooth and I'm the host of the Underground Railroad on WBAI, New York's longest running hip hop show since 1991. And we are downstairs at our new Brooklyn home. We have many producers that are already doing events in the cafe on the ground floor. The Commons Cafe is a great way to come and be involved and explore now uh, more interaction with the producers at WBAI as well as other community organizations here utilizing the space here at 388 Atlantic. I'm all about you know bigging up whoever whomever comes from WBAI and mentioned the fact that this guy came from WBAI and did his thing and I would have done the same thing if I was around when Yoko Ono was the librarian, and John Lithgow back uh, in the 70s the John was the was arts, part of that same was the show, arts director. John Goodman used to be part of a show called the Cis Citizen Kafka Show, and there's so many people, as well as, of course, people know about Amy Goodman now and other people <laughs> like that. A lot of folks have come through WBAI over the years. You have Bob Dylan, you have Yoko Ono, Danny Glover, 
has been instrumental. He was a very, very big supporter. What keeps me here and has kept me here and has kept the fire burning in my belly for so long is that people are able to tell their stories, tell the truths that they know. Uh, whether it's somebody telling a story from the Holocaust, somebody telling a story about their sojourn from Cambodia during the 1970s, somebody like my father, I'm able to uh, have him tell his story because I sat down with him and asked him what it was like as a young kid in the 1930s growing up in Depression era Virginia, the Old Dominion by the way, what it was like. We can tell our stories here, and we can tell our stories in a long format that you just can't do anyplace else. WBAI, speaking truth to power for over 50 years. You have very few powerful media outlets that are...